Yo, YouTube, what's up? You about to do a line and tape on some dreadlocks. First off, I got my got to be holding spray. You know, I always use this on everybody. Because this will get that lining crispy. Like, you can do a natural. You just put it on there, then you do a natural lining, and it'll look real, real crispy. All right, so we got the Babyless Go FX, and I'm starting in the back. As y'all know, I always start in the back because, like, the back is the easiest part, and it's, we can just go and get, get that out the way. Since she got dreads, and her dreads is going all the way down, you really don't have to taper unless they ask for it. Sometimes they don't. They just say, just go ahead and do it. Every once in a while, they'll taper the back or take the back down. But sometimes they don't because, you know, the dread is covering up anyway. So they'll just rather line it up and just let it grow sometimes. It's either or, whichever, however the client choose. But in some cases, you ain't got to take it down. Sometimes you can. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to. But we about to go ahead and keep this consistency rolling. All right, now we on the fun part, which is the front of the line. I call it the front part, the fun part because, you know what I'm saying, now I get to work. We got the easy part out of the way. Now we get to work, work. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the hair. My wall designers. I'm just going down on it. I don't even have a guard on here because I'm not even going down on it all the way. I'm just basically just laying it down, trimming it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a guard on it. I'm just smoothing it down. Just gliding over it because she still went dark. And she still has like thin hair. And it's inside the dread. So you don't want to touch it too much. But since it's thin, we're just going to touch it a little bit. Not going down too much in it. I could put a guard on here and do that. But I'm, I'm moving kind of fast. So I just want to go ahead and knock it out. Now we got the gold babyless FX. And we're going to start in the middle and work our way to one side. Like I say, this is a method that I always do. One side first. And then do the other side. So we're going to start in the middle. And work our way to the side. I mean, this is all natural right here. This right here is no enhancements inside here whatsoever. We're going to add enhancements. Of course, y'all know me. And plus, you know what my clients love. So... We're going to add enhancements, but right now, as you can see, that's no enhancements right there. Just that all natural work. All right. Now, I was putting my ball line inside there. I'm about to start my little ball taper. So, first, I'm going to do it. I'm going to open up my wall designers. I'm going to go up a little bit. No, not too much. Stand right around that. Because, like, like I say, with dreads, you want to make sure you don't want to go up too high. You want to stay right at a nice little spot. Cause what I do is I just go up just a tad bit and just flick out because you know it's always hair that's connected to the dreads so you don't want to go in and cut into a dread or nothing like that so we just like to just go up a little bit you know not too much and we're touching that line again now this one I'm about to do a real line because when I say real line this is the line I'm about to do before I add my enhancers on it so I'm just getting it crispy and getting it everything all together Okay, now I got the Barber Magic Pencil on there. And this is what's going to give it that touch. I'm just going to touch it a little bit. Just draw it on there. Easy. Like I said, I'm an enhancement barber for those who don't know. I love doing enhancements. My clients love them. Hey, so it's only right. I got my business card and I'm applying my, my fibers. I'm just spraying on it just a little bit just to, you know, keep, you want to keep that natural looking look. As much as possible. You don't want it to look too black and look too dark because people know they gonna realize no, nah, ain't you know what I'm saying, ain't that. But if you just add a little bit and put that pencil on there, you can make it look as natural as possible. It look like you threw the razor on there instead. Okay, now we just clean up that taper where we did. And if you realize, you realize that this is not like a real taper. This is just like a clean up taper. You know what I'm just saying? Cause it, we, I, I'm not even using the guard. I'm just Cleaning up the little hairs at the end and just flicking it out. No guard, basically. This is not like a real tape. Like a real tape is like when you go up in it. You know what I'm saying? And you, you got that guard on there flicking out. This is just basically a clean up tape. So you, you, not, you, you only got like a certain amount of 
space to play with. So you don't want to do too much to it. You want to keep it basically where it's at. Now as you can see, we did that side. Now whatever we do on that side, we got to do this side. Now we got to make this side like that side. So we're going to start in the middle. And we're going to work our way to the left. Vice versa, you know, the same thing we did on the other side. Make sure you, you want to go back and forth because you want to make sure your line in is straight. You want to get that line in straight and exactly the same as the other side. So you want to touch it up, tap it, look back, make sure everything is straight. And as you can see, she has a light spot in her head in the front. That's where the fibers come in at. You can keep it like that because this is natural right now. But a lot of people don't want to keep it natural, so I just throw the fibers in there just to blend that little spot out. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no such thing as a perfect haircut. I tell everybody that all the time. And with a lining like this, it's not a perfect lining at all. Look, the lining is straight, but she still got that like that little missing piece. Because, for instance, in my hair, I have like a missing piece too. But you can always fix that with the enhancers. Or you can leave it exactly how it is. And what I'm doing now, I got my wall designers, and I'm just cleaning up them hairs that's sticking up. Like I said, her hair is so close to her dreads that you don't want to really, you can't really taper in the, the front. Because if you take it down, you end up cutting to the dreads. So you just want to flick out and just go glide over it a little bit. The same thing with the side, you know what I'm saying? Like, but doing dreadlocks, doing haircut linings with, on dreadlocks, I wouldn't say it's difficult. I would say it's different. Because some people's hair is different. Some people got hair in the front that where you can take it down, and some ain't got no hair at all you can take down. You just got to line it up and just trim it as close as to the dreads as possible. But now we got to go, baby. Fabulous FX. We just lining them up, lining her up, touching it. Now it's the hair fibers on there doing the same thing we did to the other side. Making it look A1. Like you want that lining to stand out. Make it look crispy as possible. Now no guard on there, like I said before. We just basically just teetering with it. Because the dreads are so close to her hair that we don't want to go up into it. You just want to kind of just teether with it just flick out a little bit and just stay where you at not going up too high just make it look clean as possible and shout out to her too she just had the rapper papoose she's a rapper she had the rapper papoose just inbox her on instagram and she showed me that dm that's what's up so shout out to her hope her music dreams take off and she be big one day but anyway yeah, we just touching the lining up, getting it crispy. Now we're gonna hit it with the Barber Magic Pencil. Make sure it's neat. Making sure it's nice and decent. Baby's liners, touching it up. Just tapping it. Ain't gotta do too much with these. Everything is already laid out for, night, for you. Now we just tapping it. You know what I'm saying? Keep everything cool. Getting that line all the way in there. Making sure it's A1. Using the corners and just tapping it. Make sure everything hidden. Make sure everything is cool. You know what I'm saying? Go over your work. Make sure everything looks A1. Make sure both sides look the same. You know what I'm saying? Go over extra stuff if you got to. Don't be afraid to go over anything. If you see something, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Because once they get out the chair and walk out that door, that's your walking billboard. That's basically your model for the next two weeks, next week. How do you want your model to look in the next week or the next two weeks? They represent you. You did this. So you got to make sure it look good. So now you're just touching everything up. Just hitting it. Making everything neat and crispy. And yeah, y'all, that's how you do a crispy lineup and taper on dreadlocks. Y'all keep grinding. Y'all stay motivated. Y'all keep watching these videos. I'm going to keep dropping once a day. 
And we're going to keep the ball rolling. On the road to 1,000. We at 970 right now. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. Go ahead and get us to 1,000 right quick. We're tr we trying to get that 1,000. And y'all, I appreciate y'all. Peace out, YouTube. But check this out, though. Crispy. Crispy.